Capricorns, welcome back to my channel. This is Rogue Tarot. I'm getting right into your July monthly love reading, Capricorns. Overall energy you have is the Ten of Cups, so there is definitely a chance for a love fulfillment that you have that could um last into a marriage, a long-term love, a stable commitment um, in a relationship that you are dealing with. Could be dealing with the Twin and Aries. We have the Emperor, the Divine Masculine Energy in reverse. We also have the Five of Wands. We have the Ten of Swords with the Nine of Cups. So this Emperor energy is really feeling conflicted over this ending. Um, there was a lot of arguments um, and it's just emotionally draining for the both of you with the Nine of Cups energy. Well, um, this person wants to quickly come in this month and ask you out with the Three of Cups. Uh, they want th uh, they miss the fun times that you guys shared and they want that back. Um, you guys love playing drinky games or just going out and having a drink, having fun and um they miss you we have the queen of cups and the nine of cups in reverse so this equals this ten of cups energy that is at the bottom of the deck they don't feel fulfilled in their lives nine of cups energy if you're not in it so there's an ending that they want to talk about you know they're going back and forth they're kind of hiding their feelings right blocking out their heart because in the past they they did block out their heart and things didn't work they're coming in to give you um, communication here, take you out with that Ace of Swords. Again, Three of Cups energy and speak their truth, Capricorn. So, well, let's see what comes out for you. We have healing family issues. You forgive your love life. You love, wow. Healing family issues. You Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. <laughs> Some of them, maybe they do need to forgive their love lives, you know, in the past. They always, you know, mess things up. Well, now that they don't want to mess things up with you because they feel like you're the one. This is it. This is Ten of Cups. This is beautiful energy. You could be getting a proposal this month. We have make the effort. Great love is worth the steps that you're guided to take. And look at this Capricorn's true love. This person is really in love with you. Wow. Um, and they're really going to make this right. Again, this, they have to do some healing on their own, but you, um, some of you are definitely going to hear from this person. The only conflict they have is um, they're, too much into, it's, they're too much into their feminine energy. They need to um, get more into their masculine energy, right? Because their masculine energy is completely off. Yeah, they don't want this to end um they didn't like how this ended. For some of you, um, you might go through a small breakup, but again, they're going to ask you out and you guys are going to be fine. You're going to, you know, move on with your lives, right? Just going to get into a minor argument this month. Um, but those of you who are in separation, they're definitely um, letting go of the bullshit, the drama that you guys went through and they're letting bygones be bygones and they're coming in to take a risk i like this person is really into their like pride and ego is good for them to um uh hold themselves accountable for things all right we do have the moon in reverse the chariot in reverse and the two of swords in reverse i was trying to give the benefit of the doubt because the three of cups is not always a third party card but what's hidden this could be why you walked away. Um, person chose a karma that they didn't walk away from a karma. It doesn't have to be. Um, not really picking that up, but the moon is in reverse. That's why I'm saying that. This person could also be hiding their feelings for you, right? You know, because the Ace of Cups is here. Um, they never spoke up about their feelings, right? Like whenever you want them to talk about how they felt, they kind of, um, you know, uh, became shy or silent and like it's and it's like you're tired of putting in the work exactly you're tired of being the one to put in the work to plan days or um even ask to see this person like like they just stop asking to like hang out and see you and you were like no i'm done like i deserve better could be dealing with a libra they want to balance things out leo energy um, they're pushing through it and make things right because they can't be because they can no longer feel this way. Like they can't feel this way. And it's like I'm having trouble speaking in this reading. This person really wants to come in very quickly and just have these fun times that you had. You know, they want to come quickly and make this effort because they know that great love, true love, you know, is worth it. This is the romance of the lifetime. They're not going to get someone like you. 
Clarify the Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, feeling left out in the cold, but overwhelmed. This person needs to go inward and still heal. But they are going to put in the work to establish a stable union with you. Yeah. Okay, there's movement trying to get out of this conflict with the Five of Wands in reverse and taking a sleep forward. Yeah, which is why they're coming in fast. So this could, this energy still could be happening right now. You might hear from them um, uh, by the full moon on July 24th. That's why that moon card is definitely showing up as well. This this energy that's hidden right now is going to come out the next full moon. This person's going to come in very quickly. Yep. Yeah. Why? Because they learned their lesson. Beautiful. Full in judgment. <laughs> the first and last major arcana is showing up. Their cycle is now complete and, you know, they're they're going to awaken into this emperor energy. Why is the Knight of Swords showing up? Yep. Conflict is over. Burden is over. It's no longer heavy and they're going to, they're finding success and that success is with you. The universe is literally aligning you guys together. It's, I saw it, what, two of wands twice? Uh, no, two of swords twice and then two of wands. So two, two, two. We got 10, 10 angel numbers. I mean, it's all over the place. And it's ironic how we have 10, 10 angel number with the judgment and the full card there. So major turning point. Yeah. For some of you, um, <laughs> it's like I'm still getting this person hiding, just was hiding their feelings, like they're being selfish, like they know that you like them a lot. And look at that, I was just saying the emperor is going to be upright and look what happens. But um, <laughs> it's, it's kind of like they're hiding their feelings and they feel stupid about it. And this is why they kind of want to come in. There's a lot of movement. You have the six of wands, the six of swords, you know. They're learning from, from their mistakes of like being selfish. This person uh, wanted their cake and eat it too. Like they would go out, have all the fun, but they wouldn't like hang out with you. It's, li it's something little that you guys are going to argue about, but you're going to kind of leave and they're going to kind of awaken. For those that are dating this person right now. Why is the Queen of Cups showing up? Because, you know, you have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. It's kind of like you have it all, but you would love to be with someone. It's like, I feel like you're yearning for this person back because you know that this is your person. <laughs> you know it, but you know that they needed to get through some shit to, in order to make it work with you, right? There were some hidden feelings there where it's like you knew this was the one things could balance out that, you know, this could be potential for this beautiful Ten of Cups true love energy, but they just need to see it and they do. There's no more second guessing yourself. This is cancer energy. All these major arcana showing up. The magician in reverse. Yeah. The things that you don't think are gonna manifest this month definitely will. And it's all it is gonna be all about the choices that you make, um, Capricorns. You know, things that you wanna work on and heal, things that you are passionate about. But someone is coming in to take you out on a date and definitely um talk to you. I'm going to pull uh, my love oracle cards because I'm going to, I just lost them for like two seconds. We have hammer, sabotage, rebuild, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. Um, and then we have girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. And this is going to attract this person to kind of come flying forward, you know, you're going out, you're dating, you're getting back out there and they're going to feel this energy and um, try to get closure with you. You know, you want to move on. That's fine. You know, you're you're going to be having fun this month, Capricorn, meeting someone new, getting back out there, plan side a date, living in the moment, happily single. And then we have Grim Reaper. So a lot of you are not going to take this person back, of course, due to a third party that they were lying about. Right. Choosing a karmic, you probably won't take them back. Um. You have no second chances, grow and transform your life. So it's two different decisions, guys. Why you're going to remain single, have fun, not take this person back, you know, it's over. Or you guys are and make this work. And as you guys go out and date, you're going to find your one here. And it's going to be your true love. But for some of you, look at this. We have let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. You deserve love. I'm just pulling from the bottom of the deck and soulmate. 
Yes, this is your soulmate and heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So that's where I mean you guys are going to get this clarity this month around this full moon energy. Beautiful. Soulmate and true love there, guys. All right, Capricorns. I'm going to leave it there and hope you guys have a wonderful week.